I'm going to share with you the most common cause of a pinched nerve. Also, I'd like to share with you, in my best experience, the treatment options for relieving the pinched nerve. I'm Dr. Dave Adams in our Bonita Springs Chiropractic Back and Neck Clinic. Now, in my experience, the most common cause of a pinched nerve, it falls under one of two major categories. Number one is like major trauma. So if you have a spinal pinched nerve, um, if you're in a mo motor vehicle accident or auto accident, you're going to there's going to be an uh, irritation or a pinch in the nerve. Also minor trauma like bad posture where you're slouching in a chair can cause that or if you bend over and pick something up, that can also pinch a nerve. In my experience with this particular injury, the anatomy is very interesting. A uh, pinched nerve uh, might not be the best way to explain it because the nerve actually becomes inflamed or irritated. And that if inflammation and irritation is what's causing the pain. So the goal would be is to try to decrease the amount of pain that you're experiencing. Patients typically will come in with symptoms such as pain or muscle spasms or even reduced mobility because of that pain and uh, muscle spasm. Now I'd take a moment here and I'd like to share with you what I have found to be the most effective treatment options for spinal pinched nerves. Number one, one of the best therapies that we have found in our office is chiropractic care or manual therapy. Chiropractic care helps create motion in the area, uh, which decreases the amount of inflammation that's in the area, which decreases the pressure of that spinal pinched nerve. Secondly, we use a thing like E-stim e or electrical stim or using electricity through the area of irritation where the, the nerve is pinched or irritated and decreasing that, that pain and inflammation. And lastly, we, we have found in our experience that active rehabilitation is another very beneficial thing for one of two reasons. Number one is decrease the permanency of that pinched nerve. We don't want there to be a long-term problem with that area. Secondly, reoccurrence. We want to strengthen and stabilize those areas that has caused that nerve to get irritated or pinched and decrease the amount of probability that's going to come back. In summary, what we found is these therapies really reduce the amount of pain that our patients experience, also in decreases the muscle spasms that our patients have, and also increases their mobility or movement. So our patients report back to us that if they relieve these symptoms of this spinal pinched nerve is that they're able to work longer without as much discomfort. They're able to sleep very, very comfortably. Uh, when you have a pinched nerve, it becomes very uh, uncomfortable when you're trying to sleep. So giving you more sleep. And also depending on where the uh, spinal pinched nerve is, you're able to either wash, wash your hair, blow dry your hair, comb your hair if you have a spinal pinched nerve in your neck, or even bending over and tying your shoes or putting your pants on if you've got a spinal pinched nerve in your low back. So our patients find a lot of relief uh, in those areas. So if you're suffering from a spinal pinched nerve, give us a call at 239-221-7123. We look forward to helping you.